what you're looking at right now is an opportunity to go get help with pretty good players and good offensive players. And Oladipo, a good two-way player. And if you're talking about wanting to keep him for the long term and you don't want to make a deal without a commitment, why? I'd happily make a deal without a commitment. Can I go on a few dates before I decide if I'm going to marry you? I could use the rest of this season as really a test case to see if you're going to fit exactly what we want to do. So if you go and get help and you don't have to rely on Julius and RJ and that's it to give you the points, and maybe some of Quickly, who's still coming along, if you can go get assistance, those guys are going to benefit from that. And it's going to be appreciated because it is sending, not a subliminal message, a real, actual message. You guys have earned this right to have a chance to go win. So if the Knicks gave them one of their first round picks in the coming years, whether it's Dallas in 2023 that's protected or whether it's a pick this year, Dallas is picked this year, whatever it is, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because it's not ripping everything to shreds and it's showing the proper amount of respect to the team this season that has remarkably overachieved and it's rewarding them and it's showing them, hey, we believe in you to go do something. Hey, it's Carlin. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe because clearly you can't get enough of this.